You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? This music's really good. Kind of reminds me of something like Dark Souls. <gasps> Lysanderoth, you are behind all this? Yes, it was I. My machinations lay undetected for years. For I'm a master of deception. Hey, what's up, all you gamers? My name is Gamer 16 and today we're back for another episode of Pokemon Sword, the Let's Play. In the last episode, we took on Rayhan, the Dragon Gym Leader, in the finals, as well as Bia, the Fighting Gym Leader. So, in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Champion, and just in case I want to save again, because I think I already saved off screen, but we're going to save again. So, let's get straight into this. Okay, so we have a play in mind, so I start off with Stealth Rock, just so we can get that Charizard to half, but he might just start off with Charizard, which might be an issue. And if he Dynamaxes right off the bat, that's going to be flippin' insane. Alright. The dent's still there in the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. That's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation anticipation inside the Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. I am scared. Because I swear, if he starts off with Charizard, this is going to go horribly wrong. Oh no. You're kidding me. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? You mean the gym leader symbol, you idiots? Oh god. Why do you have to interrupt us? Ah, oh, sh- Hello there, Leon and it. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. The darkest day. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Are you shitting me? It was right- Oh my gosh, we're doing a Dynamax bad fight. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Gosh dang it, I just wanted to fight Leon. I knew something like this was going to happen. Jeez. Lee, hey. What video stream? That was from Hamlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've gotta go see what's going on, I'm the champion, I have to go. Should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for, mic for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. Well, I'm like the second most powerful person in this, like, well, is the chairman the second, I guess? Yeah, probably. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? But hop, chase him. <laughs> oh, I help my brother. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you. So what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Just try. What, what, what can I even do? Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. I mean, the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once, ages and ages ago, right? What does, the, what does he mean? He's bringing that about. And where do you even hear that name? Back in Motostoke? That statue, the hero in Motostoke. Sonya said something back then, then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. 
Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try to find them, it. But where to start looking? Back in the slumbering wield! Yes! That's it, it. I'm sure it's got to be the slumbering wield. Now Lucian you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that was supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering wield. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Yes, I've wanted to go back to the slumbering wield for so long. I just love the theme there. Oh wow, we just teleport back. Oh, hi Sonya. Huh, and Hop. I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you... Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw to that and to sending... To sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wheel? Well, for starters, there's a great, bla a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day. It's thrown everything into disassery. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on, Tickman. Did you see the darkest day? The Darkest Day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Gala region to ruin in ancient times. So are you here for it? Well, I guess. To stop the Darkest Day. You mean you're going to search for the sword and shield Pokemon? Okay, here, take this. You should head to the Slumbering Wheel. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something. That's been bothering me. Three max revives, even though you used one. Alright, let's go. Come on it. We're gonna go back into the summer wheel and probably just die. All that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. You I can't hear you, Mom. Like you're you're so Oh, it's not foggy. Right for this it. I wonder if we we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'd be a bother us now. We've both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going into that forest after Wooloo that day, that was the start of everything, wasn't it? Legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to a tail. Okay. Oh. What? Are these high level Pokemon? I doubt it since they're like level 2 last time. Hi, Pokemon. Oh, it's a grabber. Give me the howling part, cause that's the best part. Oh, hi Weezing, how are you? And we got into a Pokemon Bell, cause we need to catch a Luna. I don't think we have one. Okay, apparently we do have one. Yes, I was wrong. I know we had the evolution, but I didn't think we had that. Store, nice. There's a lot of wheezes here, apparently. I guess there's a lot of smoking people. I wonder if we were able to come back here like midway through the game and I didn't even realize. These are pretty high level Pokemon, so I guess not. Because of the darkest day and all. Oh, hi, Corviknight. Oh my god, that's a big Corviknight. How big is Corviknight meant to be? Because this boy is so huge. I haven't. I don't think I've ever checked Corviknight's Pokedex entry. Well, let's run. Run away, Donnie. Run away and never return. Is this the way we just went? Nope. Pokeball. I missed DC. Oh, right, we can go into the water. I forgot about that. Oh, hi, Muna. Life orb. Not bad at all. So that's where you get the life orb. Nice. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, we can't go this way. Of course we can. Oh, 
Oh gosh dang it, Weezing. I already got what I knew, because I had to evolve one of my boys. Ah, Alright, well, Weezing, sometimes you just gotta neutralize your gas. I don't think I've found any coughings or wheezings with like levitate, which is kind of insane. I thought I'd at least find one, but nope. Not even one. Hello there, wheezing. How are you on this fine jolly good day? Oh, hi, Hop. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Eh? Okay. It's coming closer to us. Are you kidding me? Oh, both of them. Just sword dog goes in front probably because he's the main dog. They really are here. The sword and the sheer Pokemon, I knew it. Oh, and they vanished. Oh shoot, they're gone. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those... The Sword and Shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Ha! Oh, you sure haven't lost the plot? There is no one but the two of you. What? Well, were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature... Literature... From other regions, and I finally found something. Mentions of the Pokemon... Of the Sword Pokemon, Zacian... Or Zacian, I mean. And the Shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering world, sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Tell Sonya. Thanks for digging in, digging into it. Even if it just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that those two are used to carry are still here too. Uh, hopefully. Okay, well, I need to go back a bit. What's to say that Sonya isn't an illusion? Mm -hmm. Ever thought of that game? Okay, smoke ball, not bad. What did I just run into here? Oh, just wild Pokemon. Okay, well, I want to get the TM that was over here, so let's grab that. Ooh, Elixir. What is it? Phantom Force, not bad. That's a decent ghost move. Kind of annoys me that it takes two turns to activate though. Kind of like Fly. Fly is like the worst of them, I think. Because it has like a... No, Bounce is the worst. Because it takes a turn and then you have a huge chance to miss. Oh my gosh, waste of time. Oh, can we go into the water here? You think. Or not. You know, I guess that's possible too. Oh, we're going deeper into the area. <gasps> Cutscene! This looks cool. Wait, where'd Hop go? It's only a straight path. Hop, you better be with me. Or I'm going to be extremely con- Okay, good. Would you take a look at that? Hey, now that's something you don't see every day. This place, de this place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. A slowed down theme. Oh, yep, Sir and Shield. What if I could just pick the shield? That would be kind of funny, honestly. See that? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. What happens if I pick the shield, though? Oh, I wanted to pick the shield! <laughs> Okay, a rusted sword. Can I use it and just kill How or Hop? Shoot, I keep messing up his name. It was said that a hero used his sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That sells it. I'm taking the shield. That wow, would you look at the state of this thing? Seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be up to stop the darkest day. I mean, the darkest day, but... Well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Breaks it. <laughs> Shoot. The shield break. Where do we even put... Okay, the rusted sword I think could fit in my bag, but the shield definitely can't fit in Hop's bag. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're all on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all, we... this is all the help we got. 
Oh, so the doggos are post game, but I want them now. Give me doggo. I want doggo. Gosh dang it. If anybody's gonna help Lee now, I guess it's just you and me, mate. She's probably still at Hammerlock Stadium trying to keep the darkest day at bay. So would you say it? Wanna grab a flying taxi to head right there? And let's get out of this gloomy forest and fly back to Hammerlock. Oh, hi Rayhan, how you doing? I guess this is your gym, so it makes sense that we're here. Well, if it, well, if it is in, in hope, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match, and then something like this has to happen. Literally my same thoughts. Chairman Rose thinking that the injury pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Gala's future. It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm up against the darkest day of the jamming or whatever. I'm going ahead, I'm off to help my brother. Let's go, come on it. And he's gone, that hop never changes. Oh, he's in a rush about something, is he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the seas Pokemon and we've got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Gal region. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with his fiercest rival, all teaming up against the dark. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Is he gonna have his, uh, boys, his grunts in there? You'd think so. Okay, of course Alina's here. Wait, Hop, where'd you go? Did Hop get kidnapped? I feel like Hop got kidnapped. Ch Jim Challenger. Jim Challenger, Jim Challenger, you must help me. I mean, uh, please help me. My, my Pokemon suddenly Dynamax for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Rayhan, I mean, Mr. Rayhan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but uh, if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg you for your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as e Eternatus. Apparently the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. Wait, so if we kill him, no one can Dynamax anymore? Shoot. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the gallery region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, Please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the life lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the chairman, champion's younger brother, too. But who knows what is going on? Hello, lady. Chandrat, up above, the champion is facing the darkest day. Yes, the lift will take you to the underground power plant. Oh, we finally get to use this lift. Armalite, we're here. Energy plant. So, Eternatus is the third legend. Oh my god. Can we use this yet? Now it's not the time to use this. Try talking to German Rose. Wait, is he here? I don't see him. What? Where is he? What? What is all this? We need to help late. Damn it. Oh. What? Did he just appear? Or am I going crazy? And he was. Is he gonna have, have Eternatus? Oh, what are you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stopping the dog is day. Oh, pardon. What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day. Or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon. Eternatus! Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the gallery gym with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock. That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. I just said Galar and said Galar. Ooh. This music sounds really cool. Macrocosmos Rose. Scavalier. I was not expecting that, honestly. I was expecting it to turn out just, just pop in like, hey pal, how's it going? Is this the game trying to tell us that we're probably not like 
ready for the champion or something. It's like, nah, fam, you're gonna lose to the champion if you do this, bro. Alright, well, Centipede, come on in. Megahorn, we're eating that. Or he can just miss, that's good too. Oh, right, we can Dynamax down here. I wonder which one will Dynamax. Sometimes, I kinda wish they would just like, magically just randomly Dynamax a Pokemon. You're pretty tough, yes, entirely too tough, don't you think that's unfair? This music's really good. Kinda reminds me of something like Dark Souls. Okay, he has a Steel type user. Which I should have gotten from all his Macrocosmos, like, grunts, I guess. Wild Charge will eat that easily. Alright. This definitely, like, says, like, evil person. But I really hope there's, like, some really cool theme like this for a Tornadus, too. Berserker. Okay, Berserker's gonna die in one hit. It might have good defenses, but I don't think it would. Right now, Centipede's just being dodged here and, like, sweeping through his team. Yes, Centipede, you're so good! Hey, Dekuki got level 61. I'm realizing all of our team's level 60, or above 60, so that's pretty good. We could use our Wraith Boy, our Dragon in the PC, but honestly, I think I like our team the way it is. Iron Barbs, that's fine. Now we're going to have to Dynamax and sweep down. Who's this last Pokemon going to be? Elephant? You would think it would be Elephant, but maybe not. Opera Jaw, yeah. Is this guy- Oh, oh, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm. This isn't looking too good. Okay. Hello there, elephant boy. I get the feeling it has really good defense. Could be wrong on that. I know it has decent health, so... I'll definitely be able to tank a hit. The dark. That max health is kind of insane. Hmm, I'll show you a move that'll sit, oh, hit so hard you'll be speechless. Is this Gigantamax? Oh my god. That looks really cool. But honestly, his body kind of looks like he's from Minecraft or something. The actual trunk is like all I can see, honestly, but... Hey, okay, we one-shot him, as we do. Very interesting theme, actually. the tubes. Alright, Rock On probably got a level, as well as Alphonse. Alphonse, oh! Ludwig's the last one to get a level. We're going to get to 61 now. He defeated Macrocosmos Rose. Hmm. Hmm. I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. Okay then. Most impressive bet. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two, and I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened it to Natus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor, coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. Are you a princess? I don't know about that, Rose. I do tend to ramble on. I know I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Internatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? Certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Oh, he lost to Rose? Okay. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? Nah, you don't get it, do you, Charmin? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to 
the gym challenge you organised. Let's go it. Come on. Alrighty then. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. In the next episode, we're going to be going to Champion Leon and take on Internatus because I doubt the champion took him down. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching again. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.